So I just had 20 chicks hatch on Sunday. And although I had a feeder that's the right size for baby chicks, I didn't really have a water before. I just always used a small bowl or something like that. But I kind of wanted to do like a normal water you could fill up and easier to clean than just a bowl that they're going to knock over or poop in, that sort of thing. And uh, anyways, I had a, a GIF container that's made out of plastic. And then I had this bowl that was bigger than the GIF container. And basically what I did was I put three holes. See if I shake it, the water comes out. Now why isn't the water coming out right now just holding it here? And the reason is because I've got this cap screwed on. It is actually vacuum that keeps the water in here. If I loosen that cap, all the water will run out and overflow this bowl. So that's something you have to keep in mind is you have to fill this up. While it's inside the bowl and then you have to put the cap on quick or it's all just going to run out but uh what i ended up doing was i filled it up with water i found out where the water level's at which is right here on this line and then i was trying to determine like is that going to be too tall for a baby chick it goes to like my second knuckle um i got short fat fingers so it goes to the I think it's going to be far or uh, short enough. It's like actually a little bit less than my second knuckle. And I'm just going to cut this around here. And then the water level will be down just slightly. But I think that's going to be sufficient for these chicks. Um, again, when you go to fill it, make sure you get the cap on her tight. Because that's what keeps the water from draining out. It's vacuum that holds it in there. And then once it gets down below the holes, which I put... You can kind of see there on the side, they're up slightly below that rim. Um, you know, once the water level drops below that, it'll let more water run in. So um, I think it's going to work out pretty good. And uh, we're going to find out tomorrow because that's when they're going to start using it. Uh, they've actually still been in the egg incubator for two days now. And uh, I've got an upcoming video about that also. So if this is the kind of stuff you like, Along with the additional information that's on my homestead, I do a little bit of everything. Like and subscribe.